I am very pleased to announce we are going to start a new course in our channel on Zango, which is a Python web framework. Zango, you might have heard this term if you know a little bit of Python. If not, don't worry, you will be knowing it soon. First question, what is Zango? The answer is Zango is a free and open source framework for the web development in Python. Let's understand what is mean by the web development. Web development is nothing but building the web applications with the help of the server-side scripting and client-side scripting. Google, Facebook, YouTube, all these are web applications. In the web development, whatever the user interacts in the web pages are called as a front-end and where the actual the data is being stored as called as the back-end. So the programming languages will be used for the front-end web pages development are HTML, CSS and JavaScript. HTML will be used to display the content in the browser and web pages development. And CSS will be used to display that content in a controlled and beautiful way. JavaScript will be used to make the web pages user interactive. All these are part of the front end, that means at the user side. How about back end, where actually the data is being stored in the database? We need a programming language like Python to send this back end data to front end when a user makes a request. Let's take an example of Instagram. Instagram displays the lot of images and videos from our friends and circle. What we see and interact in web page is called front end, right? In back end, these images and videos we upload will be stored in a database. So we need a programming language to pull up those images and videos when we use an Instagram at the front end. So that's where the programming language like Python plays an important role. As Python is known for its huge amount of Python libraries and configurations in it, so framework like Zango gives us a platform with all the necessary tools integrated in it so that we can get started with the web development right away. So we just need to concentrate on the application development because Zango takes care of rest of the work for us. A little brief history about Zango. In 2003, two developers who are working on the news websites development had observed that the code which they are repeating for the each and every project. So they saw an opportunity to create a framework so that they can reduce this repetitive coding. So that's how Zango started as an in-house project. Zango officially made its public release in 2005. It was named after a known guitarist Zango Rendart. In 2008 June, it was announced that a newly formed Zango Software Foundation would maintain this Zango in the future. So since 2008, there are multiple versions of the Zango has been released. So the latest available version of the Zango is 5.0.1. Why we need to go for the Zango? With the Zango, you can take the web applications from the concept to launch in a matter of hours. Zango takes care of much of the hassle of the web development so that you can focus on writing your own app without needing to reinvent the entire wheel. And Zango is a complete because Zango follows the batteries included philosophy and provides almost everything developers might want to do out of the box development. And Zango is versatile. With the Zango, we can use to build any type of website from content management system to Wikipedia, social networks, news websites. You can develop any kind of website with the Zango. And security. Zango gives us the basic security functionalities like user authentication, login, logout, sessions and cookies. Django helps the developers to avoid many common security mistakes by providing a framework that has been engineered to do the right things to protect the website automatically. Django runs on the MVT architecture, model view template architecture. And scalability. Django gives us to develop the small websites to big scale websites as well. As Django uses the component based shared nothing architecture, each part of the architecture is independent of the others and can hence be replaced or changed if needed. Suppose you started a small website, it became a huge success. So you have to make some changes to meet certain requirements. So you can make changes in the hardware at any time with changes like uh, caching the servers, database servers or application servers. You can change anything, any part of thing without being affecting the other part. You can make the changes in the Django. Some of the busiest websites have successfully scaled to Django to meet their demand. Maintainable. Django code is written using the design principles and patterns that encourage the creation of the maintainable and reusable code. In particular, it makes use of the dry principle that means don't repeat yourself principle. So there is no unnecessary duplication and so that hence it reduces the amount of the code we are going to code. 
portable zango is written in python which runs on many platforms that means that you are not tied to any particular server platform and can run your applications on many platforms like linux windows and mac os and all the operating systems let's get inspired by some of the known web applications which are running on the zango instagram national geographic mozilla spotify pinterest discuss bitbucket eventbrite Prezi, YouTube, all these web applications are running on Django. So you are just one step away to create your own Instagram and Spotify apps with Django. What are the prerequisites to learn the Django codes? To learn the Django codes, you must be familiar with the basic Python programming because we are going to write the Python code in this Django framework. A little bit of HTML, CSS and JavaScript is also required for developing the web pages. Even if you don't know, don't worry, we'll be explaining the things from a beginner point of view. What are you going to learn in this course? In this course, we are going to explain the basic concepts of Django to advanced concepts in Django. Django will be running on the MVT architecture, model view template architecture, which is similar to MVC model view controller architecture. And Django provides many inbuilt functionalities like user authentication, login, logout, creating user, the admin panel, sessions, cookies, models, and CRUD operations. So we'll be making the series of videos by covering each and every concept in the Django. And finally, once we are done with explaining all the concepts of the Django, we'll be making a mini project from the learnings of this course to give a practical touch. So if you have any questions or wants to cover any topics, please comment in the comment section. So we will try to answer all your questions in the coming videos. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, hit subscribe button and stay tuned for our channel because we will be releasing this Django course videos on every Monday at Bedders Day in our channel. So let's learn Django.